Well, the Montana Grizzlies were back home on Saturday, taking on an old familiar foe in the Weber State Wildcats. Two teams that hadn't seen each other since 2022, and both were looking to improve to 2-0 in Big Sky Conference play. And the fans here at Washington Grizzly Stadium were treated to a wild one here in Missoula. The Grizzlies wasted no time to start this one. Eli Gilman takes the pitch and see ya. 37 yards into the end zone, and Montana jumps out to a 7-0 lead. But Weber State has the quick answer. Richie Munoz slings it to Jaylene Record, and he outsprints everyone to the end zone, and that ties this one at 7 all. Later, Wildcats take their first lead as Munoz hits Noah Benny, and he's in from six yards out, 14 to 7, Weaver State. 14 10 now after a field goal from Ty Morrison from Montana, but on the ensuing kickoff, Weaver State has an immediate answer. Noah Kerr fields the kick, makes a couple guys miss. And see ya. 95 yard house call for the Wildcats, and they are rolling in Missoula. And not long after that, it continues. Munoz again throws it deep, this time finding Jacob Sharp, and he's gone. 50 yards to the house. Offense fully rolling, and the Wildcats have a big 28 10 lead. Grizz quarterback Logan Fife answers with a two yard touchdown run to trim the Grizz deficit, and at halftime, the Wildcats own a 28 17 lead. Third quarter, Grizzlies inching closer now as Fife is able to find the home run ball. He finds a wide open Eli Gilman deep. He stiff arms a man, and it's a 68-yard touchdown for Montana to make it a one-score game. Fourth quarter now, and this is where things got fun. Gilman again here for UM to get them within two points. Then Ty Morrison gives the Grizzlies the lead with a 48-yard field goal with 10 minutes to play. But boy, does this one take off. Munoz again looks deep, and he hits record 53 yards, and he's all the way to the house one more time. Wildcats retake the lead, but not for long as Gilman again finds pay dirt for his fourth score of the game as Montana retakes the advantage. But again, Weaver State has the response. And it's Munoz to Sharp once again as he makes one man miss. And see ya. 71 yards to the house for another touchdown for Weaver State. And again, they lead. The Grizz, though, they went blow for blow. And this time, it's Fife hitting Keelan White with under a minute to go. The Grizzlies take the lead, and it's up to them to get one more stop. Final seconds, Kyle Thompson up to kick. And he sends it home from 43 yards out with no time remaining. And this one is headed to overtime. Wild Cats with the ball first. Munoz threw six touchdowns on the day, but none were bigger than his final one as he hits Damon Bankston for the score to take the lead. Grizz with one more chance here. First play of their drive. Fife drops back, but he's sacked and fumbles. Wildcats recover, and that's the ball game as Weber State stuns number eight Montana in a thriller as they snap the Grizzlies' 15 game home streak and win this one 55 to 48. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.